In Sherborne, Massachusetts, lies Sweet Meadow Farm, a picturesque animal haven where children visit to ride horses and learn about animals. Here at Sweet Meadow Farm, we have a wide variety of animals. We have chickens, rabbits, donkeys, mini horses. At the helm of the family-run business is Julie Michaud and her mother, Patty. I've been around animals my whole life. Every day I look forward to getting up and seeing all of them, feeding them, being around them. Together, the mother-daughter team raised and cared for all the farm animals, but their crown jewel is a little lamb named Lulu. Julie and Patty had been contacted by a nearby farm who asked if they would adopt a newborn lamb. We had received a phone call that there was a little baby lamb that needed help. It needed to be bottle raised and it did not have a mother. Lulu's mother had passed away shortly after Lulu was born. Luckily, Julie was more than happy to take on the newborn. The first time I saw Lulu, I was really excited to take her home and be her new mom. Lulu, from the very beginning, was so affectionate. No matter where you went, she was at your heels like a little puppy. But raising a baby lamb means little time for counting sheep. So it was a 24-7 job. So it was kind of like having a newborn baby. But Lulu adds a level of entertainment as well. Lulu brings a smile to so many people. Lulu is, is silly and likes to do whatever she wants to do. If Lulu wants to eat the chicken food, Lulu will go up to the chickens and start eating their food, and the chickens can't do much about it. Lulu, from a baby, was a born leader. Lulu is an American black-bellied sheep. This breed has self-shedding hair instead of wool, so it doesn't need to be sheared. Known as an organic lawnmower, black-bellied sheep can eat nearly anything. These animals are social, alert, and energetic, and Lulu is no exception. Soon after her arrival, Lulu started to display her big personality. I noticed that once she got comfortable in her environment, she became more bossy, and she was the one that wanted to be the center of attention. But it wouldn't be long before Lulu would have to share the spotlight with a baby deer named Sugar. They have a very special friendship. It is very unique. They are both different species, but they are inseparable. Sugar watches everything Lulu does all the time. Sugar, the two-month-old fawn, came to the farm after a local zoo asked if Julie and Patty could socialize the newborn. We are asked to go to the local zoo where we bring home a newborn fallow deer. They agreed to temporarily raise the deer to be comfortable around people. Our job for them is to teach the deer that humans are good and that they will be used in teaching when they are returned to the zoo. But nobody could plan for what would happen the day Sugar came to the farm. I was very afraid that Lulu would be too bossy, not be nice. And they kind of sniffed each other's noses and and it was kind of like they had a connection right away. The two seemed to hit it off, but Julie and Patty were shocked when Lulu changed her bossy behavior to accommodate the shy and skittish deer. I knew then that they would be best friends. I was really excited when Sugar and Lulu took right to each other. Lulu took on the role of teaching Sugar the ropes at the farm. Lulu would show Sugar everything first. So Sugar always watched and then would learn. I was extremely happy to find that Sugar was not intimidated by Lulu's bossiness. Like many fallow deer, Sugar spends much of her time sleeping and is skittish around new animals and surroundings. But Lulu, a fearless social butterfly, inspired a feeling of safety in Sugar. Deer are notoriously skittish animals. Of course, they're herd animals and they're preyed upon by many different predators. And it's, so it's interesting to see that Lulu the lamb seems to be able to give Sugar the deer some emotional confidence and stability and provides leadership. And that's clearly a useful thing for a deer. Sugar immediately was calmer only when Lulu was in her sights. Everyone noticed the impact Lulu was having on Sugar's confidence. Sugar has definitely become a lot more social because of Lulu. As the summer progressed, 
Lulu and Sugar became joined at the hip. Sugar and Lulu are always together. Sugar is Lulu's shadow and will follow her. You cannot make that happen. They choose to do it. Early in life, we all need somebody to take care of us. And if our mothers or fathers are not available, then we can cast around and we can form strong bonds with, with others of different species even, as we see with Lulu the lamb and Sugar the deer. What surprised me was that even though Lulu was at the same age as Sugar, she really took care of Sugar and helped show Sugar the ropes. It was really nice to see a baby taking care of another baby. The two orphans find solace in each other's company. Even when they're separated, Sugar will always seek Lulu out. Sugar can't leave the paddock unlike Lulu because Lulu's domesticated and will always come back to the farm. Sugar's a deer and she might, if she got spooked, she might run into the woods and it is extremely difficult to catch a deer. Every time Lulu comes out of the paddock, Sugar is watching and you can sense the hesitation in Sugar and like, what am I supposed to do? Where is my best friend? But with each passing day, Sugar and Lulu get closer to the time they will have to be separated. Sugar will be reintroduced to her herd of deer at the local zoo where she was born. Sugar's job is to go back to the zoo and to return to the herd of fallow deer and to be able to walk in with a better sense of being able to work with people to help children learn all about fallow deer. And Lulu will move into a bigger paddock with the larger animals back at the farm. When Lulu moves into the new herd, she's going to meet a menagerie of different animals that she hasn't met yet, including a pot-bellied pig, an alpaca, and many horses. So she's going to have some fitting in to do. Will this warm, early life friendship have built a psychological stability that then means that they can go off into new lives. And sure, they'll miss their old friend, but they'll have the strength to build new friendships. No one at Sweet Meadow Farm could have anticipated the bond between Sugar and Lulu. Those at the farm know that Sugar's departure will not be an easy day. I believe when they have to move in with their new families and make new friends, that they will be a little sad. Lulu's going to wonder what happened to her shadow, and uh, she's probably going to keep looking behind her, being like, where did uh, Little Sugar go? Once these two go their separate ways, will Sugar and Lulu be able to thrive without the other? In rural Massachusetts, at Sweet Meadow Farm, live Sugar and Lulu, a deer and a lamb with an unlikely bond. They are both different species, but they are inseparable. When Julie and Patty first agreed to take care of Sugar for the summer, they never expected the fawn and lamb to get so close to one another. Most babies get along great, but not all of them will develop a, a really strong relationship where they want to be with each other 24-7. You're going to make a lot of new friends. Yep. But the day has come for Sugar the Fawn to be brought back to her forever home. Sugar's going to be going back to the zoo to be reintroduced with the herd. And for Lulu the lamb to move into her new paddock at the farm. Lulu's going to be moving in with my mini ponies, the goats, the alpaca, and Penny the pig. Both will have to learn to adapt to their new environments. I'm hoping that Lulu will be able to establish herself in the new herd. She's going to have to realize that the other animals might have priority over her with the eating, who eats first, who eats last. And Sugar will have to find her way with the group at the zoo. Come on, Lulu. But their friendship may have a huge impact on the rest of their lives. The relationships that we have early in life, they're valuable in themselves, but they're valuable for how they set us up and give us strength to make new friendships later in life. And so it's particularly interesting to see Sugar the deer going off to meet with other of her own kind because she's never had relationships with deer before. She's just got this loving relationship with Lulu the lamb. But clearly that basic relationship provided a foundation that she could then use to build new relationships with her own kind. After the two friends say their final goodbyes, Lulu is put into the new paddock with the bigger animals. Lulu is going to have a new family. 
and she will love it as soon as she walks in. Here's Heidi. Look. She doesn't Heidi's know, but Heidi is just a bigger sugar. While Lulu gets to know her new friends on the farm, Sugar arrives at the zoo to be reintroduced to the herd. Sugar, here we are. Oh, they're waiting. Hey, Mom, look, I think that one's her mom. I think it's the mom because she's an albino. She's the closest one. Here they come. Oh. OK, it's time to go. Go ahead. Go find everybody. Good job. Oh, good girl. There goes the baby. <laughs> there she is. Bye, sugar. I'm going to miss you. Oh, they're coming to come and say hi. You did a good job raising her. <laughs> Julie and I were very proud of her. She did a good job. When I see the baby animals that I raise grow up and go into a herd permanently and establish themselves, it makes me really happy. <laughs> they have such a great friendship. But for every ending, there's going to be a new beginning. And hopefully, they'll both have a great time and use their life skills that they learned to make new friends. To see that, a full story come all the way to the end and to be able to share that with my daughters, there's no words.